Hello, I'm gonna walk you through how to use the ZTE Prestige 2. We got it from Boost Mobile in Canton. This is a phone, it's an Android phone, and what that means is it's not Apple or Macintosh. <clears throat> Here it is, ta-da. So first you need to charge it. The charging port is at the bottom and it's skinnier on top. You can see the hole is skinnier on top, wider on the bottom. And I marked it with a little bit of nail polish so that you could find it quickly. So I also marked this, the actual charger, because you had to put the skinny part on top. See how that's skinnier on top. So this marked part goes up, goes into the port, then the other end you can just put into the wall. But um, if you are not around a, an outlet like that, you could actually pull this out and plug it into your computer and use your computer's battery. So try to avoid doing that um, if you can. Just uh, use a regular plug. That way this part doesn't get lost. If you're in, uh, you can keep this in your car. This goes into like the cigarette lighter thing, and then this goes into the charging port. Now I also marked this one so you know which side is up. Okay, so you have two chargers, one for a car, one for a wall. Okay, and in emergencies, you can pull this out and stick it in a computer or stick it in someone's car too, but try to keep these connected. All right, let's turn it on. Turn it on on the right. Then it says press and hold screen to unlock. So you just press and hold the screen to unlock. There we go. Now the, four, the five basic things at the bottom are on your home screen. So first is calling. When you get to the calling, you have these wonderful people to call, but you also have your contact list. So it opens up automatically onto your starred people, so you can always add more star people. You can touch over here and it'll go to your contact list, so you can just touch on someone to call. And don't touch on the circle, touch on their phone number and it'll call them. You might have to, I think you have to press it again too, and then it'll call them and press the red button to hang up. And now it doesn't automatically go back to your list, so you have to press this little white, that little white button to go back. And then you're back on your list. Now, press the star button that's your favorites. Press the multiple people thing that's your contact list. Now this thing in the middle that has a clock on it, that's history. If you click on that, you can see who you called and what time you called them. So if, so right, you got a phone call from New Jersey that was probably a telemarketer, and these are the people you called, and it says 14 hours ago or however long ago you called them. You don't necessarily need to look at that all the time, so it always defaults to go to your starred people. <clears throat> now the circle at the bottom with the dots, that represents uh, a, f a dialing pad, so click on that if you just need to dial a phone number. Dial a phone number. So seven. Blah, 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 and, and hang up. Okay, uh-oh. Now right up here, it says I'm in the middle of a phone call. Um, so I'm gonna click on that, hang up, because I accidentally, oops, I accidentally did that. Now if you wanna make a phone call without doing any of this, you can just click up here on the microphone at the top of the Google rectangle, and just say call whomever. So we'll say call. Call, oops, that didn't work. Call Chrissy. Keep going, go ahead and sign in to your Google account. Okay, so once you have a Google account, then you'll be able to use that feature. <clears throat> but it's very useful. Next at the bottom, so you, we already went through your phone stuff, so next is 
the camera. So that represents like a shutter of a camera. So click on that. <clears throat> and it's your camera. And you just press on the camera icon to actually take a photo. So I'm going to take a photo. Look at that. And it shows up here. That's like what the photo you just took. It's good practice to hold it sideways to take a photo. Okay. Sorry, it's a little blurry. There we go. Hey, buddy. Buddy. There we go. And then it sort of shows up right here. You can click on that and see buddy. Now, if you are done with that, you can click the back button. But sometimes they have this little arrow to the left that kind of functions as another back button. You can click on that and you're back to your um, camera. Now, I want to take video next, so I'm going to use this button instead of the camera button. So, you click on that. Buddy! And once it shows that red square and this little thing at the top, which is a counter, you know that you've been videotaping for 16 or 17 seconds. So then click again and you're done with the video. And it shows you here what you just videotaped. You can click on that and you can play the video. It's got that little triangle on it. And you can see what you videotaped. Oops, hey. Let me try that again. Open with photos, prime photo, video player. Anyways. Sometimes you have to pick the app. And it sh shows you what you just videotaped. Now I'm done watching that so I can either click the arrow to the left, but sometimes it disappears, or the old back button, which is that left one. Next! I'm done with the camera. I'm manual, auto, or fun. I like to keep it on auto. So if the auto is blue, you're good. But if it's ever messing up for some reason, you might want to check that the auto is blue. Okay, next we go back, back to your home screen. And this button um, has six dots in the middle of it. This is going to show you some of your other applications. So if you put games and stuff on your phone, you click here to find them. And this has clock, contacts, downloads, camera, caller ID, calendar. Some people like to use their calendar a lot. You can shop on Amazon, use a calculator, stuff like that is here. Oh, and you can pull, kind of drag this up, and it'll scroll through the other stuff. And this is where you can, let's see, if you like to download stuff, like download different apps or different games. If someone says, oh, you should have this app on your phone, you can go to Play Store and look for an app. So why don't we go to Play Store? Oh, you have to have a Google account to use Play Store. So as soon as you have a Google account, you can go to Play Store and download more apps. Okay? Which... You might not need, but hey, it's nice if you do. Here's your voicemail. So if you want to use voicemail, um, you click here to set it up to record your greeting and stuff. So click on it. Welcome to visual voicemail. Next. Premium. Ooh. Next. Compare, blah, blah, blah. Give permission. So you have to give all these permissions. Uh, voicemail needs access to your storage, your audio, your contacts, and your location. That's okay. Allow voicemail to access your contacts. Allow. Allow voicemail to record audio. Allow. Access photos and media. Allow. Access your location. Allow. Personalize your voicemail. To set up your voicemail greeting. Tap the personalize button. Um, there you go. So now that's set up. And let me click back. 
Next time you go to voicemail, it'll ask you to personalize it. So you can record a greeting when you feel like it. Next, um, YouTube is a great app. Let's see. Yeah, you don't currently have YouTube. So YouTube is right here. I'm gonna um, show you how to drag something you use a lot, drag it to the, your home screen. So I'm gonna take YouTube and just by holding my finger on it for a long time, it allows me to drag it to your home screen. I'm gonna put it right here up by the clock so you can find YouTube really easily. And now, you see YouTube is still here, but then when you click on that zero to go back to your home screen, YouTube now appears every single time on your home screen. Okay, so that's, uh, so we just finished that button. Next is this blue button, this is your text messages. You click on that, and then we'll either go into your full um, screen, I'm sorry, it'll go into like all the list of people you text message, or it might go right into one. So this is, whoa, this is Gil. Okay, all right, so you, so you read their message, and then to answer back, this is type an SMS message, you have to actually touch the word type, ah, oh, sorry. That was a mess up. I'm gonna click on that blue thing. I wanna answer Gil. So touch on the word type and it'll bring up the keyboard. And I'm just gonna type okay. Now here's, um, I like to use my pinky so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. And then this little blue paper airplane is to send it. Now, let me try OK by voice. So here is the um, microphone on your space bar. So you can just press and hold the space bar. OK. OK. Tap to have it stop listening to you and then send it. Now sometimes we mess up like, oh, I don't want okay on there twice. It gives you a back button right here if you don't like what it typed for you. And if you're like, well, I actually want to type something after that, then you just click on, uh, well, that doesn't work. You just have to X out of the whole microphone square. Click on that X, and the keyboard will come up, and you can write OK. Oops. OK, OK, and then click Send. Ah, nope. That didn't work. Now what do I do? So this is, I accidentally brought up the emoji stuff, so I just click the back button to get out of that. Oh, I meant to say okie dokie. I meant to say okie dokie. Tap it again to have it stop listening to you. Everything looks good, and I press the blue button, sorry, the blue paper airplane to send it. Okay, now I'm done texting Gil, and I realize I have not put Gil into my contacts list. So, I can click on that, add contact. So there's many, many ways to add a contact. I can add it that way, or I can just go back, and right here, the blue circle next to him, I see I don't have his name there, oh, sorry. Sorry. I can click on the blue circle to add him. So I'm going to click on his blue circle. It says add to contacts. Yeah, add contacts. Create new contact. Type in his name. I'm just going to say it. Gil. Click on that to have it stop listening. Then 
up here is the check mark. And that's how you add a contact. Good. All right. I think that's all for Messenger. You don't ever need to delete anything from Messenger. So Gil wrote you all of this, and you wrote all of this, although I wrote it. And then he responded, LOL. That means laughing out loud. So that's one of those little things they have known nowadays. <clears throat> I'm going to keep clicking back and go to our next thing, which is Internet Explorer. So you can click on Internet Explorer and type, type a website you want to go to. Or you can just say, um, say it in here like this. Oh, wait, what's that? Horse breeds. Horse breeds include Belgian horse, Clydesdale horse, Percheron, and others. So that'll do a Google search for you. Now, so that brings up websites. If you want to look up a website, you click on that microphone. If you want to make a phone call, you have to have Google um, account set up. And then you just click on a microphone and say, call Eric, or uh, say, uh, yeah, say something like that. Call Gail. Yeah. Now there's um, another thing. It's like an alarm clock. So let's go to clock. So from your home screen, you need to go to this thing with the six dots to go to the alarm clock. And if you can't find the clock, you scroll around until you find it. It's usually in alphabetical order. Click on clock. And then it has um, 7 a.m. Uh, let's say I want to add my own. I'm going to add an alarm, so I click that red plus. I'm going to call it um, wake up or wake. Um, pick my alarm days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. Repeat weekly? Yeah, I'm going to want this every single day. Time. I'm going to have it be 8 a.m., 8 o'clock a.m. So what you do is you click on the 8, move it around to where you want it, then click on the minutes, move it around to where you want it and just check up top to make sure it's the time you want then check a.m. or p.m. so whichever one is white that's what it is a.m. or p.m. and then click OK and click save the alarm is set so to wake you up every day now the red means that this is an active alarm it's going to make an alarm sound if you don't want it active, you click it, turn it white, and it won't make an alarm sound. Okay, so all done with that one. Um, if you want to like do a stopwatch, you can do a stopwatch to see how long something takes, like if you're timing something, um, and then just res reset it when you're done. If you want to say, okay, I have... 20 minutes to clean the kitchen and you can set a timer that way that would be a timer not a stopwatch okay but if you don't I need to clear that out if you don't want it but the most often uh, most often people are going to use this clock to just be um, an alarm clock okay back to the home screen uh, if you want to look at the pictures you have taken, click on this button, Gallery. And then all of your camera photos are going to be in here. You've taken seven photos. And all your videos are going to be right here. You've taken one video. Click on this. It'll show you a list of all of them. Click on one of them. And then you can scroll through the rest. They're very good pictures. Oh, look how cute she is. Okay. Mom, it's you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> All right. Now back to the home screen. Um, 
Hey Google, how's the weather this week? Here's the forecast for Camden Township. Today in Camden Township, it will be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 39 and a low of 22. Sorry, that's our Google Home Mini. <laughs> so it'll give you a 10 day forecast. Um, weather forecast for Houston, Texas. Here's the forecast for Houston. Oh, now you know how it's going to be. Nice and hot. And you click on this blue button, it'll expand that a little further so you can see like more detail. There you go. All right. And back to the home screen. All right, I think that's all for now. Um, maps? Well, let's navigate somewhere. Navigate to Target. There are a few, actually. Tap the one you want. Let's see. And it gives you a list of the ones close by. I'm going to click Start on this one. That's the one I want to go to. Okay, this means it's uh, going to take eight minutes to get there. It's 3.0 miles away, and your arrival time is going to be 1.13 p.m. And this is smart enough to know about time changes. So if I'm driving from Michigan to Louisiana, it'll automatically um, include the time change. So that'll be like local time. Okay, and to sort of get rid of this, you have to click on the back button like a gazillion times and that'll get you out of there. Whoa, what's going on? That's all. Then, that's kind of it. And your last thing I want to talk about is YouTube. Now YouTube is videos. So you can either click on you, you can click on YouTube and look for a video like, I don't know, how to, what do you want to learn about? Huh? Oh, okay. How to make an origami rabbit. Oh, you have to press the microphone, sorry. How to make an origami rabbit. Look at all those. Those are great. And sometimes they have an ad that says you can skip ad in one second. Click on that. But you can just let it play if you think you're going to accidentally do something. Now one cool thing is if you, um, this is a pretty small screen so if you turn your phone sideways it'll automatically make a YouTube video full screen. Okay. Ta -da. And then you turn it back this way and it'll automatically put it back. To stop a YouTube video you touch the screen, sorry it went away, but you touch the screen and click on the two lines and that will pause it. And then you press the, the triangle and it'll start again. Okay, back to the home screen. That's it for today. I will see you later. Bye.